Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I am working on a lefty. <clears throat> this would be a left-handed three-string tobacco cigar box guitar. But what I wanted to point out here is notice where it says right here, coffee infused. All right, so what did I do? Well, I went in and uh, we ordered this uh, Black Rifle coffee. My wife likes the, uh, the organic blend. But what I like about it is they give you stickers and everything. So I got a bunch of stickers. Um, they also, uh, they're an, an American vet company where they give me all these awesome freebies and stuff like that. But what I did is I went in to the... Uh, coffee machine itself and I got the grounds and what I'm going to do is stain this wonderful neck which is made from an oak palette one piece look at there's no fretboard just a one piece oak neck here and so I'm going to infuse it with coffee all right wish me luck All right, that was a messy job. You can see my fingernails. Ugh. But anyhow, <coughs> I wanted to show you kind of the, uh, the contrast there. Look at that. This is uninfused, and that's infused. So you can definitely see that there's um, a definite color to it. I've got a Black Rifle coffee sticker in there, along with the business card on this side. I have an embedded piezo that is wired directly to the input jack. This is a 23-inch scale neck. I wanted to show you the insides. And the corners are just going to be screwed right into these thick walls here. All right, we got the strings on. Notice the nail. Oh, the nail's upside down. I was just going to brag to say that I finished this lefty without making any mistakes. Normally I make weird mistakes like putting the solder burns on the wrong side or putting the, uh, the jack on the wrong side or what are some of the other mistakes I've done. Um, putting the strings on upside down backwards. But anyhow, so the only mistake I guess is I put that nail facing up instead of facing down. No big deal. But anyhow, so what I wanted to say here was I'm adjusting the action here because you can see here the action here is pretty high. This would be great for slide, but all I'm doing now is I have this saddle piece here and I take it out and I'm sanding the bottom of it to get it lower to get this action to be nice and perfect. So here's how I do that. So I don't go too much. I'm just kind of going Little by little by little, put it back in. Double check, can still go a little bit lower. All right, we got the strings on. I have the 30 wound tuned to D, the 22 wound tuned to F sharp and the 14 plain steel tuned to A. So this is an open D chord. So if you want to hear what this guitar sounds like, you're going to have to watch the next video. All right. 